Uh, I, I was like, I left the army, and they went, they are. There's your plane ticket. That's what we owe you. Have a nice life. Then your bus is waiting outside, and then well, that was the end of it. You've coming from army life into this into Civvy Street is one of the hardest things anybody can ever do because you've got to think. In the army, you don't have to think. Everything's thought for you. Your meals are there three times a day. Your bed's there three times a day, as much as you want. You don't think. Everything's wrote down. You go and look at the company orders, part one and company orders. Then you know what you're doing the following day. You don't have to think. You come straight into Civvy Street, bang. You've got to start thinking and it's hard. Pain suffers with post-traumatic stress disorder. The National Health Service doctors don't know how to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. They need specialist help. They need to be understood. They don't know what he has gone through. With somebody suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder, they need people that understand the flashbacks, the mood swings, he is mixing with other people with mental health problems but different mental health problems who don't understand at all what he's going through and we've got national health nurse and staff saying to us we don't know how to handle this situation because we don't understand it there needs to be more support help the heroes they're doing it uh, for the boys in afghanistan veterans um, i'm going to be start going under veterans and combat stress, there's another cracking one. If anybody is out there that has that got, you think, I'm, I'm so, give combat stress and just go online. It's an 0800 number and they're fantastic.